Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on how to reclassify accounting transactions. So one of the challenging things is when we go in and we look at our profit and loss for the end of the year, and let's say we're using a 12-month P&L, and our year end is 2018 December, we run it. And when we look through and we look at some of our expenses, for example, we notice some things are not categorized where they should be. Now, when you drill down and you take a look at all these transactions, you have a few choices. You could take all of these, let's assume office supplies is incorrect and it needs to go into service and utilities or maybe other expenses in this case. I could take the total of this, which is $271,000, and I could make an adjusting entry in December but that's going to mess up the look of my month-to-month -month P&L, and things aren't going to quite look so good, particularly for that December month. The other option is I can make individual transactions for each month to adjust. But that's not very convenient. First off, it takes a lot of time. And secondly, if there's numerous transactions in a given month, it's still difficult when you drill into that month to see what's going on. So Acumatica has a concept called reclassify transactions. So if we go into this office supplies and we drill in, we can see some of the transactions here. So what we can do is reclassify all and Acumatica gives you kind of a find and replace function. So we can come in here, we can load, so what we'll do is we'll load all the accounts for office expenses. So from office to office expenses. And we'll go back our periods, 01, 2018 to 12, 2018. And we'll load this. Now we can see all of the transactions that occurred throughout the year. Now, you notice again, there's a couple of transactions in February, there's one in March, one in April, a couple in May. So again, there's, there's quite a few different transactions in various months. And the hard part would be, without reclassification, to make entries to adjust these on the same date so that I can see it clearly later on. When I'm looking through my books, and I don't see this 1400 anymore, but I see some sort of entry to credit this 1400, I'm going to want to know what happened. And that's why you don't want to make a summary entry at the end of the year. And you don't want to just put it together and maybe do one entry in February. And you also don't want to do entries for all of this. It could be very time consuming. So if we look at this screen, you'll notice a couple of columns here. So we have the account. It's all the way over here to the left. Let's move it over and we have the two account. So in this screen, we can double click and we can actually make changes. And this screen is relatively easy to make changes because you can come in here. We talked about some sort of other expense. Maybe it's a repair. So again, this screen is almost like Excel in that I can go in and paste and just keep moving along. So that's one way to do it. And it wouldn't take too long to do that. The other option we can do is we can replace, and this gives us that find and replace function. So we can say, anytime I see 62400, I want you to replace it with 62950. And if we go through this and say replace, you can see Acumatica did it for us. And imagine if there was, you know, 100 transactions or even 1,000. You remember transactions are flowing in from your accounts receivable and from your purchasing, your accounts payable. So there could be tons of transactions that if you don't catch it early, you'd have to go through and post it manually for adjusting. So this goes through and makes the process easier for you. Now, what I wanna do here is I don't wanna change all of these. So I'm gonna uncheck these. and I'm gonna run process so we can see this. 
So this is done, obviously pretty quick. We only did one transaction. So now what we'll do is we'll release this transaction. In our preferences, we don't release these automatically. It's just a preference I have turned off. So let's go over to financials and let's go into release transactions. And you could see our GL journal transaction that was created. Basically crediting our office expense and debiting our repairs. So let's release this. Now, if we go into our account details inquiry screen, which is under finance, inquiries, account details, and we bring up this account, first let's change our date range. I'm gonna change it for the whole year. 62,950. You can see the GL transaction that came in, the $1,400 debit. Now, if we go over to office expenses, you'll notice the transaction, the original February transaction is not there. However, Acumatica is masking this so we don't have to see it. It doesn't clutter everything up. But over here under include reclassified, you can see it'll show the reclassified transaction. So that's it, reclassified transactions. It's very easy to use. If you have any other questions about this or anything else, at the end of our video is our contact information. Reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.